the situation in Afghanistan continues to deteriorate. So the latest from U.S. officials is that the military has started withdrawing from Afghanistan, reducing troop presence. We don't know if it's like to the residual force of 2,500 or 1,000 or we, we have actually no idea. We're hoping for some more insight on that, just as you all are. We're going to give you the latest as to how we get it. Uh, but it is being reported that the U.S. has expedited a deal with unknown terms with the Taliban, and we actually may be out now in 72 hours. In fact, it's already started. So that also means that the White House could potentially leave several thousand Americans behind. Now, we're going from stranding Americans to abandoning them. The State Department said that the United States will continue helping at-risk Afghans leave by August 31st, a completely false promise, seeing that there will be zero military support on the ground by that time. Now, a discussion with the Taliban about extending the, ta the timeline for withdrawal has yielded nothing. This morning, after speaking with G7 leaders, Biden was informed that our allies were united in telling the Taliban that the evacuation would take as long as it takes. But Biden wasted no time in announcing afterwards that the United States would in fact be out by the 31st, publicly undercutting the alliance. President Biden won't extend the deadline, and the Taliban is demanding a full withdrawal by August 31st, no exceptions or extensions. They're dictating the rules now. Our CIA director met with senior Taliban leaders in actually just yesterday, and it appears that not much came of it. However, we can apparently send the CIA director there and back to meet with the leader of the Taliban, but we can't extricate Americans or Afghan SIVs. Saki said in the presser this afternoon that, quote, this is the largest airlift in history, which is most assuredly not. These facts, like history of the Berlin airlift, for just one example, they're hidden on a thing called the Internet. Given the current situation of having thousands of allies in Americans, maybe tens of thousands, as no one knows exactly how many who are still stranded, or abandoned, rather, on the ground with no way to get to the airport, there are no good options. So here is Jen Saki just a couple of hours ago addressing this problem. Uh, a Taliban spokesman said today that the group would bar Afghan from assessing the roads leading to the airport to allow foreigners to pass. And I guess for evacuation efforts, what does this mean for Afghans who assisted and can't get through now? What are you going to be? Does this effectively cut off those Afghans from being evacuated? No, that is not how you should read it. Uh, one, I should note, we have been in direct contact, not just with American citizens, but with SIV applicants, uh, special immigrant visa, visa applicants, and Afghans who uh, we whose uh, departure we are facilitating about how and when to come to the airport. And our expectation, which we have also conveyed to the Taliban, is that they should be able to get to the airport. It is also true, and I know this may be some of the um, confusion out there, uh, that there are a number of Afghans who may not, we, 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 they may not qualify for these programs. And we've seen over the past several, of the past nine days, a rush of people attempt to come to the airport. We certainly understand that, but that also creates a security risk and one that we have great concern about. So to be clear, individuals who are eligible for special immigrant visas or others who we are helping facilitate their evacuation and their departure, we are in touch with them or working to be in touch with them about how and when to come to the airport, as well as American citizens, as you well know, and we expect that uh, they will be able to reach the airport. Now, the concern is that we may actually have to engage in heavy fighting, especially given the deadline of the 31st, if we're not ever able to actually get everyone out. Uh, and that means also the possibility of a kind of hot war reigniting in Afghanistan all over again. Look, I'll say it like this. Last week, Biden said that the al-Qaeda threat was gone, and he was promptly fact-checked, believe it or not, by CNN and the New York Post. And today, his own Pentagon contradicted him. Of course, al-Qaeda is not gone. They're still very much a player in Afghanistan. Biden has no clue what's going on. I'll say this, the only way to handle this, as I said on radio, is with overwhelming brutality, because brutes only know brutality. These kittens and sunshine people who don't understand this, these are the people who get our people killed. The, their reluctance to clinically view these geopolitical situations creates a hesitation that sends our troops home in flag draped boxes, and their lack of fortitude to do what sometimes needs to be done to, to drag and slay in an era of dragons, it weakens us as a nation and makes future generations more vulnerable to attack. Our approach to the Taliban should come in the spirit of Tom Cruise's, Tom Cruise's greatest role. It's one of the greatest, most cinematic masterpieces ever committed to celluloid. And that is, of course, the character of Les Grossman. The Taliban should be told that we are going to stay for as long as it takes to evacuate all remaining Americans and SIVs. And don't give me the garbage about the Americans who want to return, because no one wants to stay in the hellscape that is a Taliban-controlled Afghanistan. They're just setting that up as some victim-blaming narrative, because they're anticipating Americans left behind, or I should say abandoned. 
No, our only recourse is to tell the Taliban that we will leave after our assets are extricated and threaten to unleash a holy hell upon them that will make ISIS-K and all of their future generations of Taliban and Al-Qaeda and ISIS look under their beds for our special forces before they close their eyes to go to sleep at night. You punch in and you punch out with our assets and then you bounce.